Welcome to the Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser, and by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Welcome into the Terry Bowden Show, everybody. J.D. Byers alongside the head coach of the University of North Alabama, head coach Terry Bowden. And 11,101 football-hungry fans made their way into Brawley Stadium in Florence for a Thursday night televised game, and they got a great showdown. Coach, we knew going in it was one versus two. When it was all said and done, we had all the proof anybody needed that it was indeed the best two football teams in the land going at it. That's right. It's such a tough loss. I'm glad I've got a couple days to sit back and find some silver lining in a game that you had a chance to win at the very end. You lose in overtime but look you got the one and two teams playing and 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 the, and the number two team Delta State played for the national championship last year and we had them down by 10 uh, took overtime to lose the game but you know what you're playing at the top level you're playing a team at a level both teams that are playing at that championship level there's not a level another level you have to get to now we've got to go back and look at our mistakes at the very last five minutes we made the mistakes they took the victory you got to give them credit but it was a great football game which we played a great team and came out behind at the end but we'll find we'll find our silver lining we'll make our improvements and I think we'll grow from this got to remember last year at this time we took it to Delta State and won that game they responded well took it all the way to the national championship game so it's our time to see how we respond to this great football game that we came out just one, one, one touchdown behind in overtime. It's kind of unusual for fans when they look at the playoff system is not only do we have the two top level ranked teams, one and two, the best in the land, they're in the same conference and right. the same NCAA region in Division Division Two. So we'll play all this out possibly again right. if we get to the playoffs. Well, and again, you got to remember, we've got a great conference. We only have five teams, but everybody's good. We've got a week off, which we need. Then we got West Alabama that's playing fantastic. They are. We've still got West Georgia, Valdosta that's playing very well. So we've got a lot of teams. There's nothing guaranteed in this in this uh, world about getting to the playoffs. But I think we played a very tough game against a very good team that has only lost once to a 1AA team. And now we've got to go back and find a way to pick up from our mistakes, play a little bit better, and when we get 10 points ahead with five minutes left on the game, we need to go win that game. The Lions will go to 6-1. and one. The loss, the opponent wins this one, but the Lions still 6-1. and one. We'll come right back and see the first half highlights a little later on. The play of the game and the player of the game as well. The Terry Bowden Show continues right after this. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TNT Fireworks. If it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. The Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, Jim Bishop Toyota, family built, community driven. And by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Terry Bowden Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTFireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions. Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. Hey everybody, I'm Randy Owen, inviting you to join me on June the 2nd, 2012 for the 25th Annual Randy Owen Celebrity Classic. We'll stay at the award-winning Marriott Shows Hotel and Spa, and we'll play at the beautiful Robert Trent Jones Golf Course. We're going to play a lot of golf, a lot of music. And remember, all your donations are tax-deductible, and it helps the kids. Join me in the whole game for a good time and a great cause. A 
Attention, attention, Shoals area. If your trade is worth $4,500, you can drive away in a Corolla LE for $99 per month or drive a Camry LE for $139 per month and add leather at no additional charge. At Jim Bishop Toyota in Tuscumbia, drive away in your next Toyota from the name you've trusted for over 28 years. Jim Bishop Toyota. Save time and money at jimbishoptoyota.com today. Or call Jim Bishop Toyota today at 383-3611. Great people. Great selection. Great prices. Why go anywhere else? Jim Bishop Toyota. You won't be disappointed. That's a Brad Bishop guarantee. Big night tonight, boys. I'll be the designated driver. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TNT Fireworks. If it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. The Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, Jim Bishop Toyota, family built, community driven. And by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser. Welcome back to the Terry Bowden Show. The Lions would drop game uh, one here in the conference play, 30-24, to 24, but in overtime, what a game it was. It uh, went all the way down to an extra period. Lee Chappell's numbers, 20 of 34, the quarterback, 220 yards. Not a real eventful first quarter, but the second quarter, we'd see the Lions rack up two scores. It was a dogfight. Both teams came out ready to play, fighting defensively very well, offensively, punching and jabbing, trying to find something. No score the first quarter, but in the second quarter, we started finding some seams to get the ball into, finding some ways to get, get – uh, to be effective against their defense, and we got ahead of them in the second quarter. We come out throwing the football, but in the second quarter, we see Demetrius Good really start finding some of those creases you were talking about. But he's finally healthy, Demetrius Good, and he's able to be our quarter, our, 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 our number one runner. He had 92 yards, almost 100 yards on 17 carries, uh, and that was very effective. But Mo Milam again had an outstanding football game, and they did not play soft. They decide they're going to win this game by blitz, blitz, blitz. It was going to be I got you or you got me. Four sacks, but we had a lot of big plays, and so it was going to be an aggressive played game when they were on defense we were on offense and again uh, it worked out in the first half everything going uh, about as you would want to go you weren't winning every play but you were winning the quarters 11,101 the official attendance for this one let's go to the highlights first half as you see Lion Walk coming down Royal Avenue Thursday a game still had lots of tailgaters coming out for the number one versus number two game North Alabama hosting Delta State at Raleigh Stadium in Florence as the team makes their way out onto the field blackout game black over the block like with the purple headgear, we win this coin toss, Coach. Win the toss, defer, uh, put our defense on the field against their offense, worked very well, kicked the ball into the end zone, which we like, and the defense came up with some big plays right off the bass right there. There's a scramble by the quarterback, uh, Ernest Duran on the tackle. He goes to pass again. He has to scramble again, tackled by Cedric Hall. Twice he tries to pass. We cover him pretty tight, uh, and we force them to punt the football. And, of course, when you got Doris Jenkins back there, they don't want to kick it deep, so they kick it to the sideline. Not an especially long kick, and so he picks it up for a yard or two more, and you're on the 28-yard line to start with, and now our offense comes to play. But we come back. We probably throw the ball a little bit late there, a little bit nervous, and we don't make the completion. Come back. There's the shuffle pass, and they're right there. You see they're ready to play as well. They've got that, and then we miss a block. We miss an assignment. Leave a guy unblocked, and so he gets the sack because he was unblocked, and we put them back on the football, and they come right back. Pass right now defended by DeAndre Morgan, defended that pass very well. Now you'll see the pass again. Janoris Jenkins makes the first hit, comes back with uh, Marcus Dowden on the tackle. Brett Motil Jr., one of their uh, very hard-nosed running backs, but then they stretch it here. Fourth and down. A stop. We held them on two big fourth down plays. Gives us the ball. Here's the quick pop pass to Mo Milam. He comes right down the field, makes a few people miss, shows his athletic ability, only 150 pounds. Got great running skills. Then we get into the power eye formation. There's Demetrius Good. Look at the great blocks by the two running backs. As he, as he runs to the outside, gets the score, and there we are with 11 minutes in the second quarter. 7 nothing. Nice little five-play drive right there and here's the kick still not a good kick we're trying to kick the ball in the end zone we miss it and they get the ball back and I believe he's around the 38 yard line or 39 yard line where they will start on this drive again working in the first quarter trading a couple of punts there's a big gainer though out across midfield just behind our coverage a on wheel the route they're back out of the backfield they come back run the, sh the wildcat offense boy Janoris Jenkins makes a great play of sliding under protection making there then they throw a complete pass right there uh, down to the uh, sideline he makes a nice Nice run down to the 20, miss a tackle there. Then there's the run up the middle, touchdown, 7-7. Seven to seven. 
Right, well, I take it, I say that back. He runs it down to three, and there's, a, there's the, the Wildcat where the running back Lucas runs it in to make the score. It's seven to seven. They weren't going to quit playing because we got the first touchdown. They come right back down and score to make it seven to seven. Short kick, kicking it away from Jenkins again. We're going to answer, though, with a score of our own, a good return out to the 49-yard line. And we come right back, and I said, come right back with a nice tunnel screen, we call it, to – uh, to Mo Milam. He does a great job picking up 11 yards on that. Then they come back and pitch it out to Jason Smith. Jumps inside, works back outside, makes people miss. Wonderful play. Seven yards there. We got the drive going again. Now there's Allman right there making the big catch over the middle all the way down to that eight yard. I watch Good right here. Power inside. They stop him. No, they don't. Everybody comes up. We push the pile. Touchdown. Seven yards, six yards. And 14 to 7, we go right back up before halftime. A nice response to their offense. They scored, we come right back and respond immediately. That's what you want to do in a game like this to take that momentum into the halftime uh, time. Third quarter, fourth quarter comes out. We'll see how big momentum plays in that half as well. Running backs are running hard, carrying tacklers with them, but the receivers as well, yards after the catch, are trying to pick up every yard they can in the first half. Well, they're blitzing us. They're making us throw quickly. We don't get, we're not getting our outside throws to our outside receivers, but when they blitz people inside, we're able to bring our people across the middle and make the cross th crossing throws against them. We were able to hit them effectively, but the running game was going very, very well. We're in a tight ball game with another great team. It's number one. It's number two. It's 14-7 to seven at halftime. And both teams know we've got 60 to 30 minutes left where we got to fight every minute of the game. The Lions have a seven-point locker room lead at the half up 14-7 over the Statesman of DSU. When we come back, second half highlights on the Terry Bowden Show. Stay with us. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Brinks Apartments, CBNS Bank, banking the way it should be. And by the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranch. Library books, brown bag lunches, dinner at home. Frugality is back, but it's not all bad. Some of us are actually enjoying the hunt for new ways to save. Here's one. Drive safely. When you don't have car accidents, you cost less to insure. Allstate will gladly pass those savings back to you. In tough times, every penny counts. That's Allstate stand. For a fast and free quote or to refer a friend, call the Bill Goff Allstate Agency at 256-765-2200. One, two, and three-bedroom rental units in the Shoals are affordable when you rent from a family-owned business that's been around since 1959. Brinks Apartments started three generations ago and now features more than 500 units across 20 locations, providing comfortable, affordable, and convenient living. Check out Oak Ridge, less than a mile from the UNA campus. Enjoy personal parking and lounge by the pool at Stonebrook Apartments on Cox Boulevard. Brink Apartments, family-owned since 1959. When I go to see my bank, they know me by name. I go to a place with banking the way it should be. My bank has convenience and great service. I love that it's a community bank. My bank says yes to lending. Our bank is CB&S Bank. <clears throat> it's banking the way it should be. I'm Nick Rocchio, and I'm the CEO of the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches. When you look at our children, we want you to see a normal child. Uh, the abuse, the neglect, the abandonment should not be visible. Uh, the emotional scars that they carry with them through their lives are there. Uh, our goal is to teach them to live with those scars. It's easier to build boys and girls than to repair men and women. We're the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches, and this is what we do. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Brinks Apartments, CBNS Bank, banking the way it should be. And by the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranch. Welcome back, Terry Bowden Show. Now continuing, getting ready to come out of the locker room, leading by seven at the half. Yeah, you come back, you want to establish momentum. We deferred the kickoff, we won the toss and deferred. So we want to make something happen on this opening drive. Uh, either either move the change a couple of times, change field position, if possible, score. Both teams, they want to stop us, so that's what's coming out of here. Who's going to come out there and establish control in the second half? 14 play drive to start the third quarter, but we get a good kickoff return. Kind of an old basketball two-step jump to stop here by Janoris Jenkins. He's got that great speed, so he sucks everybody inside, then pumps it around the outside, picks up 28 yards, but that's great speed and athleticism. There's the, the back up the middle. Wes Holland comes in with a nice run for about seven yards up the middle. Pass complete to Cam Wade. Watch his great high jump. Cam Wade makes a great catch there. Then we run the speed sweep. 
Jason Smith gets it around the outside. Makes a guy miss. Then hurdles the player all the way down there for a nice nine-yard gain. We pass. The blitz is coming. We throw it to Mo Milam right there on the middle. He makes, there he goes, makes the 18-yard grab. And that's a great job. Then watch uh, Lee right here. Everybody's covered. Work left, work right, work left. Scramble, pick up some yardage. Critical yardage, and he gets it down to almost the 10 yards. They hold, hold us here, and we have to kick a field goal. But to answer and open the second half, we get a huge drive going. We get a field goal, and now with eight minutes to the third, we're up by 10 points for the first time in this ball game. Some of the blocks downfield you, you don't see is uh, Cameron Wade. He's really blocking, gives us some extra yards after the catch, and a good kick coverage downfield. Caleb Bassey right there made the great tackle on that. And here comes their offense. They do a good job. They have a great little option running attack, misdirection. Did a great job and put a lot of pressure on you. And there's the reverse they come off of. Marcus Doughton runs it down. You'll see number 38 running him down right here, catching him at the sideline to make the tackle. A nice job there. They come back passing the football. John Ware, at number seven, makes a nice hit. A lot of, uh, we had a lot of missed tackles. We're trying to, to strip the ball way too much. Here's a nice little sweep run back there. Ernest Duran, number 32, on the tackle. They keep the pressure on us now as the quarterback makes the scramble. We try to get it Duran up there. He makes the nice throw there as the tackles pass as a tackle by Cedric Hall. But there's a pass over the middle. This becomes a critical play. Uh, as they make the touchdown to get within three points, Janoris Jenkins on the on the tackle. But worse than that, there was a little a little compete, a little arguing between players there, and they and they reject Ernest, uh, uh, Janoris Jenkins right there. Cost us to play without him. We saw no penalties on the film, but we had to play the rest of the game without him at cornerback. Although we come back right now on offense and try to get this up to about three points, we come back on offense trying to get something going. You get West Hall, and here it is, third down and 15, and 16, I mean. We come back with a 17-yard gain on third and 16. But we had a holding, and we had a sack, and we were always in long yardage, and there's the time on third down. We felt like we just need to punt and uh, make a safe play and punt. And we got a 49-yard punt, exactly what we needed by uh, – Michael Schuster, great coverage right there. Radarius uh, Owens, they're 84 on the tackle. We put their offense on the field again as we're up by 10. Terrell Bailey turns the return man back inside, stays at home. Here's Demetrius Bryant, the linebacker, making a Make stop. a tackle, then come back and hit Jonathan Bird, number 13, making a good tackle right there. And then they come back on fourth down. Well, they come back, we get the ball. Here's fourth down play. They're going to try to go for it. They don't get it. Great tackle there. Westbrook, Brian Thomas, we get the ball back. Now here we come. Trying to come back and make a play. Demetrius Good for 17 yards. Uh, really needed that play. Up by three points here. Great. Then Good will come seven yards more for another run. He'll come back. Demetrius Good again. Seven more yards. 92 for the evening. A lot of great ones. Then they look for the run. We fake it to him. There's Mo Milam over the middle. 20 yards. Touchdown. Boy, I tell you, we needed that great drive right there. We held them on fourth down. We come back with 11 minutes left, 24 to 14. We're up by 10, and we kick off deep to the uh, Statesman. Five plays, 52 yards, 208 off the clock. A great pass to Milam. Here's their return, though. And Brandon Lucas makes something happen, goes right, breaks it back to the near sideline. Good coverage there on their return man. They come back, open up for a pass, tackled by Tommy Westbrook. We missed one right there. Tommy Westbrook puts the lock on him, makes the tackle. Then they come back trying to get a first down. Lucas Dar makes the punt right there. They have to punt the football away to us. It's a quick kick. They've got good field. But because they're trying to kick it away from Dar, they don't get the great quick pick, quick <laughs> bounces back to the 18-yard line. And now here we go again. There's five yards uh, to him. Now Jason Smith, great run again. Picks up all the way across the fifth. We've got the ball rolling. But a critical play of the game. Third down, we throw the draw. Boy, their defensive tackle makes a great play. He intercepts the ball, number 91. We're going down there up 10 points. We got the ball in their territory. He intercepts a screen pass, takes it down. They come back in good field position, and you see it pass right there. Uh, Dark makes a tackle, then Doughton makes a tackle, then the quarterback makes one right over the middle right here. You'll see Marcus Doughton, number 38, making the tackle. About then five minutes to go right here in the right fourth. Right now in the fourth quarter, they've got five minutes to go. Here's the quarterback making the good scramble. Makes a pass on the uh, the foul on the sideline. Then the quarterback fakes the give, comes right down the middle, makes the touchdown run, and right there they get the touchdown. Now with four minutes and 24 seconds left, down by three. They onside kick. A lot of time left, but they feel like they've got to do it. Boy, I tell you, Robbie Burnout made a great recovery. We've got the ball to 36. We run it for six, run it for four, then we run it for two. And this is where we probably should have tried pass. We tried to we tried to run it for a third time. They stopped us. We could have run that clock off, gotten one more first down. But Radarius Owens 
Larry Townsend on the one yard line. And now we're two minutes left, a little under two minutes. They've got to go the distance. And here's where they do a good job. They just came out, made pass after pass after pass uh, and move the ball, move the chains around. We have him tackled right there, which would have stopped the clock. He works back outside, makes the first down. And again, just so many play after play after play where they make these plays. 13 play drive DSU is going to put together 89 yards at stalls. Trying to get into the end zone would have been it for the win. They settle for three, puts it into overtime. Right now the line defense rushing three here, trying to keep everything in front of us. Well, they're trying to keep everything else, but you got to make plays. Just dropping too deep, and those guys are getting open there. And uh, just too many people open. But anyway, they make the plays. They make the they completions. They move the ball down the field and uh, just can't make a play. They just make play after play. We need somebody to step in front of somebody, make a play. They kick the field goal. Two seconds left. They kick the field goal to take it into overtime. We won the opening coin toss. DSU wins the overtime coin toss, so we go on offense first. We go offense first. First play we complete down to eight yards down. We try to throw for the end zone. Did not get there. Need to throw that one away. We come back, have to kick the field goal right down the middle. It's 31-yard field goal, and we missed the field goal. Now, they know they only have to have a field goal, so they're going to run the ball, but the runs work very well. They run to the outside, as you see that running attack, and they had momentum coming out of the fourth quarter. The worst thing about overtime when the team that has momentum gets to run the ball into the end zone, and they took it right down through us there. As you see, 30-24. to 24. Uh, tough, tough loss. That one is just, you, you, it sits in your craw for a couple of days and you, and you just sit there and say, we're out there playing number one against number two and we're beating them pretty good, 10 points, fighting our fannies off and they come back and win the fourth quarter and in overtime. And so we got to learn from that because we had a great football game going uh, and we will as we come away from that football game. Probably the best combination of calls by their coaching staff came on that last drive. They start at the one yard line. Some of those fourth down calls, you, as another guy would look in and go, what are they thinking? But right. uh, they won in spite of it. Demetrius Good on on our side of the ball, great night, 17 carries, 92 yards. They win it 30-24 to 24 in overtime. Lee Chapel, a good night overall. You take both of the quarterbacks against each other, one interception apiece. Well, I think I think Lee had about five plays he wishes he could have taken back. Mo Milam really did some job making everybody look good. Demetrius Good and Mo Milam, but uh, uh, needed a few more plays offensively and defensively. We've got to tighten up, and we've got to keep people shut them down. I think we've got to tighten up a little bit, but we'll learn from this. And uh, like I said, they did a great job, and uh, this, they gave us kind of what we gave them last year during the regular season. We've got to find a way to come back, get our heads back on, get mentally confident, and get back ready with a week off for West Georgia. Player of the game, play of the game. Still to come on the Terry Bowden Show. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TBA Credit Union, a better way. EA Nelson Company, and by Southern Fastening. You know, I may be new to the Shoals area, but TBA Credit Union has been serving this community for over 70 years. With seven branches full of financial experts offering personal service, TBA Credit Union offers low rates for mortgages, auto and personal loans, as well as higher rates on savings and CDs. TBA Credit Union is member owned and operated and now open to the community. Give TBA a call today at 386-3000 or stop it and tell them Coach Bowden sent you. TBA Credit Union, a better way. Hey, this is Terry Bowden. If you're looking for top quality equipment to maintain your property, then look no further than EA Nelson Company right here in Florence. They represent the top notch players in the lawn and garden industry, such as Walker Mowers, Bad Boy Mowers, Massey Ferguson Tractors, Woods, and Bush Hog Implements. EA Nelson is a one stop, full service dealer providing sales, service, and replacement parts. Whether it's landscaping, cutting a pasture, manicuring a lawn, or preparing a green field, EA Nelson has the equipment for you. Come to EA Nelson Company to see what top notch equipment is all about. They're located at 1011 Mitchell Boulevard next to the O'Neill Bridge in Florence. First, there was hammer and nail, then air powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can't be beat. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TBA Credit Union, a better way, EA Nelson Company, and by Southern Fastening. Back on the Terry Bowden Show, Delta State wins in overtime by a score of 30-24. to 24. Time for the CBNS Bank. Take it to the bank. Play of the game. Coach Mo Milam had a big one that put us up by 10. 
He had a lot of big ones on the night, but this may be the biggest. We're up by three points. He catches the ball over the middle for the touchdown. We fake the, the run, give it to him over the middle. He's been effective all year. He's under 50 pounds, but not afraid to catch the ball over the middle. But with us up by three points in the fourth quarter, boom. Big play there, put us up by 10. Should have been enough for us to win that football game. He did what he could, but it was a great play. Milam had eight catches, 125 yards, and the one for the touchdown there. Had a 43-yarder in the first half that set up a score. When we come back, we'll have the player of the game on the Terry Bowden Show. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Layton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies, and now Logan Pharmacy at Moulton, Woody Anderson Ford, Little Steve's, and by Hometown Market. These days there's still a need for genuine personal relationships, especially when it comes to your pharmacy. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell Pharmacies are still locally owned and independent, the way you like it. From the time you walk through the front door, you just feel that family atmosphere. Plus, they provide fast, easy, and extra friendly service every time. Rodney Logan and his staff have everything you need when you need it, and they also specialize in topical compounding medication, mixed on site. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell Pharmacies. Great customer service at all three locations. Hey, this is Bobby White with Woody Anderson Ford. Check out our team's lineup anytime at WoodyAndersonFord.com. There's the quick to the outside Ford Mustang or the tough all-purpose power of F-150. For the passing game, we've got the all-new Ford Fiesta, passing the pumps at up to 41 miles per gallon. And everybody's all-American, the award-winning Ford Fusions. We're proud supporters of UNA football. Come see us at Woody Anderson Ford. More for less, period. Lion Pride is a tradition here in the Shoals, and especially a Little Steve's. Our second generation family owned business has four locations in Florence and Muscle Shoals to serve you. We support UNA because UNA supports us. You'll never know who you'll find shopping at Little Steve's, and you'll never know who can help you out. Little Steve's, where UNA shops. Hey Terry, this is a heck of a place to shop. You're dead gum right about that. We invite you to shop with us at Hometown Market, conveniently located at 1421 Northwood Avenue, Florence, Alabama, in the Seven Point Shopping Center. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs with its large selection of groceries, fresh fruits and vegetables at our everyday low prices. Our meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by our qualified meat cutters. Look for our other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Hartzell, and Aniana. We truly appreciate your business and invite you to make us your Hometown Market. That's Hometown Market, 1421 Northwood Avenue, Seven Point Shopping Center, Florence. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Layton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies, and now Logan Pharmacy at Moulton, Woody Anderson Ford, Little Steve's, and by Hometown Market. Montague's plus frostbite equals the player of the game coach, Demetrius Goode. 92 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Here's the first one outside. Nice outside run out of the three back offense. We're now going to power inside. He gets hit at about the three, hit again to the two, have three or four people on him. He powers into the end zone for the second touchdown of the night. First game, he's been totally healthy. Uh, and he responded with a 92-yard effort on 17 carries and two touchdowns. 5.4-yard average for Goode. Now time to take a week off, get ready for West Alabama. We sure do, but you got to get your, get your momentum back, get your confidence back, and get ready to play a lot of football left for the UNA Lions. See you next time on the Terry Bowden Show. Thank you for watching the Terry Bowden Show. Please join us again next Sunday night at 8.30.